right, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, go ahead and grab yourself something to draw with and something to draw on. And if you don't have something available, go ahead and pause me right now. And then we will get started. We're going to get back. And here we go. All right. So today we are going to be drawing Hard Boiled, which is uh, one of uh, my characters from my comic book, Freedom Filled, Flavorful, Faithfully Fierce, Fantastic Fear Facing Food Fighters. And uh, so basically what we're going to start off with is uh, we're going to start off with kind of like a little egg shape. Uh, you can see that uh, I did do kind of like a little quick pencil uh, outline on the bottom just to give him more of a dynamic pose uh, because we're not just doing the face. So here I'm adding some fingers um, and we're going to be doing some foreshortening today. Um, and foreshortening is always a blast. Um, I really dig it. He's kind of coming at you. Uh, running at you with uh, like two weapons. Uh, he's got these uh, pea shooters, which don't shoot bullets. They uh, shoot like pea juice and um, different kinds of pea elements. Um, not and uh, yeah, it's it's a funny thing. But pea, like the vegetable, uh, not like anything else that uh, you might be thinking of. Even though you know that's funny and that's you know what we kind of try to do. So right now we're just trying to put together the basic shape of him. And uh, we got him running. We got this foot here. We're putting in this boot. And the boot is uh, going to be real close to us because, you know, as you're running, you can have one foot forward. And then here's the other foot, which is back. And this one is actually on the ground as he's coming at us. He's got his little holster here on the side. And, uh, yeah, so this is Hard Boiled, um, who is named after... Um, the Jeff Darrow uh, Frank Miller comic book. If you've never read that, I really highly recommend it. Uh, if you are uh, able to read uh, more uh, mature comic books, I would say. Uh, it's just one of the absolute best. I, I, I think uh, both those guys are fantastic artists. And, uh, of course, I also think that uh, Frank Miller is a fantastic writer. And, uh, see, I added that scar for uh, Hard Boiled. And uh, that is a throwback to my favorite uh, comic hero of all time. I was actually, like, I guess an anti-hero, uh, Grimjack. And so now um, I'm adding in some teeth. I'm adding in a little detail onto the top of his head. And um, this is all in real time. Now, remember, guys, if you're not keeping up with what I'm doing, go back. Make sure, you know, pause it as much as you need to, um, you know, uh, go back. Uh, I, if if you need to see a picture of it, I'll be posting a picture of this up on all my social medias, and I'll have links below uh, for you guys to see. So now that we've got the basic um, outline of him, now I'm just adding in a bunch of little details here on his fingers, a lot of little hatches, and I'm just fixing it up. If you don't have something that you can erase with, um, I'm, I'm drawing right now on a Wacom Cintiq, and if... Uh, you know, you're drawing in straight pen or crayon or something like that. You know, don't worry about it. If you if you make a couple of mistakes or whatever, you can always go back and erase. You could get a pencil. You can stop the video, start it over again later. And, you know, if you're not happy with what you're drawing uh, or, or with the way that your drawing comes out, at least, you know, just come back to it and uh, try it again. You know, that's that's a beautiful thing about having these videos is, you know, you can practice all you want and uh, keep going and keep going until you get better. And that's just the truth with the with anything uh, that you're going to be trying out um, is, you know, practice and practice and practice. And that's really what what makes perfect. So here I'm adding in some real dark blacks. And I like to add in some real dark blacks. You don't necessarily have to. If that's not your style, if the cross hatching is not your style, that's fine. But if you're drawing along, then that's what I'm doing right now. I'm adding some dark blacks. And I think that the dark blacks really add... A, a good 3D element to it, a, a, a lot of a uh, flavor to the uh, to the drawing itself. You don't see a lot of it in animation. You also don't see a lot of hatching in animation, um, just because it takes a long time to do and it's kind of hard to replicate um, the exact way that the, that they move. So, um, but you do see it a lot in comic books, and and uh, you know that's what I do. I draw comic books, and so I do a lot of that stuff. I like uh, guys like Brian Boland and. And, and uh, artists like that, Jim Lee, who use a lot of hatching. And, uh, you know, so that's what I do, I, you know. And, and, and that's really where, where you can come in. Um, you know, I mean, if, you, if you're a big on, uh, like, a manga style, 
then then you can do this in a manga style if you're big on like a chibi style do it in a chibi style um you know i don't know if you'd be able to do hard boiled in a realistic style besides just drawing an egg but hey you know give it give it a shout whatever whatever works for you and so now here i am i'm adding some more details um he does wear gloves so i've got you know i'm putting in some little glove details and then i'm gonna bring this back up i'm gonna add some more real dark darks uh just some real heavy blacks uh just to come in and uh you know you don't you don't want to add the blacks during the coloring a color shouldn't be having to add in your blacks for you um as a as an inker um that's that's where you add in all your black so um, since I'm doing this in, I guess, quote unquote, ink, um, you know, then I'm going to be adding in all the blacks. So just, you know, follow along. I'm doing some cross hatching here. And then, uh, right, oh, I didn't do it the sleeve right. So I'm going to add in a little bit here and add that in and boom. Okay. Now it looks like he's got a sleeve. All right. Sorry about that. Um, and, and that's the thing. It's not going to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be fun. So just have fun with it. Don't stress about it. Um, you know, this is a, this these videos are for fun and for practice. And if you're drawing along with it right now, you know what you're doing. You're doing a real positive thing. You're practicing your drawing. Um, and if this is the first time watching this video, you might not have never seen a hard boiled before. And this is your first time ever even seeing him, let alone drawing him. And you know what? You're probably doing an excellent job. And you know what? Um, and once you're done with the drawing, tag me in it. Uh, uh, do a hashtag on it or tag me in it on social media. I'd love to see what you're drawing. Uh, uh, hashtag FF for food fighters. FF hard boiled. All one word. FF hard boiled. And I'll be on the lookout for those. And I can't wait to see them. I'll, I'll repost them if I see them up. And here we are adding some more uh, heavy blacks in here and just, uh, you know, just some good shading, just some real heavy shading. And then we're going to come back in and we'll have some white in a little bit and we'll we'll cut that in for some extra detail in this heavy, heavy blacks. And, uh, you know, if you if you're a fan of like Hellboy, uh, the comic book or the movie and you see the original uh, artist, uh, Mike Mignola, um, he uses real, real stark, stark blacks. Same with Frank Miller. Real stark blacks against real stark whites and uh, in his drawings. And uh, I think those guys are fantastic. That's not uh, particularly my style in the way that I, that I draw, but I do get a lot of influence from them. So now we're going to do some more hatching and just bring in a lot more of this, uh, I, I guess, a, a, a rounder feeling to his leg. And just notice the, uh, the angles of the... Uh, the angles of the, the the lines, you know, you want you want your lines even in the hatching. You don't want them to be just straight across. You want them to go the 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 curvature uh, of uh, the curvature uh, of your of your uh, drawing, you know, of your shape. You know, here we have hard boiled and hard boiled. You know, he's got legs like you know rounded legs. So we're gonna make those a little bit rounded. You know. Uh, just to try to 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 give it that three dimensional feeling, and uh, you know that's really what it's all about is is having it to where you're happy with it. And like I said before, you know if you're not happy with it, go back and do it again. You know, have fun with it. You know that's really what it's all about is just having fun and drawing, and we're putting in the effort. And I'm gonna be you know uh, if if you haven't seen my other ones, you know the other videos. If you want to go do those, go do those. You know, d do one every day. You know, we'll just have fun and we'll draw together. And you know what? You're doing a positive thing. You're working on your art. Uh, you're inspired now. You're already ready. You've already got something to draw. And maybe that'll inspire you to draw some more today. And you'll draw even more stuff. And and, and we got you warmed up. And that's really what it's all about. And because you just got to practice and practice and keep at it. You know, because that's really, at the end of the day, that's really what's going to make your stuff better and better and you're going to be happier with it and and that that's really all that matters with art is whether or not you're happy with it because it's your art and don't worry about what everybody else is is thinking about if you're happy with it it's great and you're going to constantly grow and you're going to constantly build and you're going to get better and better and better and maybe you'll do what i do and you'll look back at your art a year from now and go oh my goodness i can't believe you know how much better i am now because of all the practice that i put in than I was a year ago, but I think, I think that you will, you know, 
I, um, maybe maybe you'll just maybe you'll be just ecstatic with what you've done and say, oh, this is fantastic too. Either way, however it works for you, then I'm happy to be a part of it. So just keep drawing here, and we're just gonna keep going in. We're gonna add some little highlights, and uh, we're gonna work on some tread. And uh, oops, I, yeah, I don't like that. Okay, I'll erase that. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? And we're just drawing. It's just art. I didn't like that. I erase it. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to fix it. Right? It's all fixable. And that's half the fun of it. And if you haven't read my comic book, Freedom Filled, Flavorful, Faithfully Fierce, Fantastic Fear Facing Food Fighters, check me out on social media. Uh, once again, the links will be down at the bottom. Tag me, FF Hard Boiled. I will definitely check it out. And you can check out the comic book. You know, um, right here, we're going to erase a little bit. Try to give him some some better tread here. All right, and yeah, and then let's come back in and add some more hatching. There we go. See, and that's just that's just the fun of it, you know. Is that this is drawing? This is fun. It's it's an egg with army boots, and he's shooting. And poof, let's make some explosions and some some shooting. There we go. Ah, all right. And we got all this. And let's add in these little white little, little spots. And awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out, uh, check out the actual drawing on my social media. And thanks for watching. Odd man out.